According to myth, the zodiac sign has a spiritual relation to every human. The sign is divided into 12, therefore covering the 12 months in a year. E-Extra has gathered a number of 13 male celebrities and their zodiac signs, so keep your eyes and ears open to know where your favorite celebrity falls into, probably might be the same as yours. One of Africa's best Afropop singer, Innocent Edibia, popularly known as Two-Face Edibia. The iconic figure was born on the 18th of September, which makes him a Virgo. According to zodiac signs, Virgos are likened to virgins. In ancient times, a virgin was a woman who was not the property of a man and therefore had the legal right to just say no. Now in modern times, Virgos are known for their ability to be highly discriminating, especially when it comes to martyrs of personal desire. When a Virgo is ready, however, to say yes, the laser-like focus of your passion is anything but prudish. Hmm. This explains why he's the father of many nations. Number two is charismatic Afropop musician Dagbo Daniel Oyebanjo, known by his fans as The Banj. Some call him Ejanla. The Big Fish was born on the 9th of June, making him a Gemini. Geminis are curious, talkative, versatile, and mentally active. Number three, the most popular twins in Africa and one of the most popular twins in the world, Peter and Paul Okoye, best known as Peace Square. The pop singers were born on the 18th of November, meaning they are Scorpio. The zodiac sign Scorpio is about metamorphosis. Scorpius transformed the painful poison of a possessive passion into a higher consciousness based on universal love. The motto of a Scorpio might be, what is hidden is more of interest than what's obvious. Also, they learn early and when to express themselves, but others may be scared by the power of their feelings. Hmm. Now you'll understand the secrets and mystery behind Peter leaving a former beauty queen and rapper Muna for Lola, even when the family is not cool with the decision. A comedian to reckon with, I'm talking of Bright Okocha, also known as Basket Mouth. This comic act was born on the 14th of September, which makes him a Virgo. When it comes to personal desires, Virgos can be highly discriminating and they have the uncanny sense to see what's wrong in a person, a situation, or an environment. So that's why it's always very easy for comedian Basket Mouth to pull off his comedy stunts using anything around him as example. Number 5, Kanye West. Born on the 8th of June, which makes him a Gemini. Geminis go everywhere together, hand in hand, symbolizing their dual nature. Aha, I see. That's why he and the band get along seamlessly. It's more like they see the world through a radio. That's why Geminis can tune experiences and point of views in and out as their interest changes, which explains why Kanye is a very controversial person. Cash Money, Young Money Records rapper Drake, whose real name happens to be Aubrey Drake Graham, born on the 24th of October, making him an early Scorpio. Scorpios can use your stinger for self-defense, but they are highly emotional, can also turn that into power and render their opponent harmless. You can all see why the wannabe gangster rapper Drake always goes emotional and relieves himself with love songs. But there's a sexual component of this poisonous tilt, and until Scorpios learn to control those strong urges, they may find themselves in uncomfortable situations. Now that's why he got involved in the Chris Brown Rihanna saga. Number seven, Chelsea Football Club defense midfielder John Michael Obi. Full name John Michael Nchekube Obina. Born on the 22nd of April, which makes him a Taurus. Tauruses are noted for determination, which gets them to where they're going, not because they are exceptionally fast or clever, but because they will not be distracted from their goals. We all can understand why Mikel Obi till date is still in Chelsea as slow and steady wins the race. Aha. They create a quite functional life for themselves, don't like trouble, but sometimes find themselves in it, and they will never involve themselves in taking unnecessary risks that can jeopardize their solid footing. Could this be the reason Mikel avoided playing for Nigeria at some point? Number 8 Starboy Whiskey, whose real names are Ayo Balogun. His zodiac sign is Cancer since he was born on the 16th of July. The sign Cancer is coined from the aquatic animal Crab. Cross the scene like crabs, we all know live in the intertidal zone of the oceans where tides rise and fall twice every day, which is the most dynamic, changeable place on Earth, but of course the most rich in nutrients. 
We all know that Weezy is probably the only artist in this country that has done what no other can do successfully and go scot free. I mean, walking away from a highly relevant and influential record label when the stakes were still very high. Fully aware of the fact that his record deal with EME was still very much active, Wizkid walked out on a contract and the influential power of his label boss Banky W still couldn't stop the Omo Jaye Jaye from releasing chart topping and club banger songs back to back. Even when the star reunited with his label, there were no serious sanctions or penalty against him. Number 9, Chinedu Okoli, known as Flavor Nabanya, is a Sagittarius as he was born on the 23rd of November. Listen carefully. The lower half of a Sagittarius is a horse, while the upper part is man. Hmm. Let me explain what that means. Note that the man is holding a bow and an arrow aimed upwards towards the sky, which symbolizes Sagittarius is aiming his thoughts in the divine realms of the heavens. In other words, he's hunting for ideas and experiences that would draw others into greater awareness of his talent. Now for the lower part, which is the horse, the strength between the leg and thighs is something that connects the man at the top and the horse at the bottom. Element of Sagittarius is fire. Therefore, in Flavor's case, the man on top and the horse below is fire. All the ladies who love Flavor, note that you're in for an experience with fire. Number 10, Sean Corey Carter, popularly known as Jay-Z, born on the 4th of December, which makes him Sagittarius. The key planet of Sagittarius is Jupiter, which encourages them to take opportunities, live life as an adventure, and to believe in something greater ahead with a big strength of undying optimistic attitude, which tells it all about Jay-Z, the hip-hop mogul and entrepreneur of class, one who has made it from nothing to something. Remember, before Jay-Z got married, he always loved the girls, so sharing same sign with flavor isn't a surprise at all. Number 11, the short black boy, M.I. Jude Abaga, who fondly calls himself the chairman, was born on the 4th of October, making him a Libra. Is the only zodiac symbol that's neither animal nor human, but surely that doesn't make them less human. They are among the most sociable. Artistically, Libra tries to balance form, content, colors, and elements, therefore can be drawn to its creative endeavors. Now we know why M.I. can balance between him being the rapper number one, a record label owner, and also a brand ambassador for several brands. And number 12, the A.Y. show creative initiator, A.Y. Kristin de I.O. Richard Macum, was born on the 19th of August, therefore a Leo. The lion is considered the king of the jungle, and likewise, Leo have an air of royalty about them. Leo's are warm in spirit, eager for action and driven by a desire to be loved for what they bring to others. They are magnanimous leaders and mostly faithful servants. They hunt and take care of survival with relentless intent and ferocity when needed. Leos can be proud too. Perhaps that's why Leos like Ewai often choose work that puts them in the spotlight of appreciation. Hmm? And lastly, Nangizi's brand executive, producer, and presenter, Lamy, real name, Oluwa Shegun Koshimani, born 26th of August, which makes him a Virgo. The Virgo motto could be, perfect is almost good enough. On one hand, this trait makes Virgos very employable, for they are not likely to do shabby work. On the other hand, they can be so finicky that they put limitations on their interactions and experiences before they happen. Hmm, sounds like Lamy to me. But note Virgos are happier if they can learn to be selectively less critical, both of others and themselves. Wow, that's better advice for Lamy. Hopefully he noted that.